Greetings. Welcome to Biology, Environmental Studies, Geography 330, Geographic Information Systems, Geographic Information Systems at Osable Institute. I, your instructor, Joseph Kursky, look forward to working with you in this fascinating course. You might say, hey, Dr. Kursky, hasn't everything already been explored and mapped? We will answer that question in this course. Good question. Maps are engaging, fascinating, and relevant to our 21st century world. Modern maps are created by Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. In fact, GIS is an exciting way for you to put your interest and passion for all things about the Earth and the environment into action in ways that are in demand in the workplace by nonprofit organizations, government agencies, academia, and private industry. And they are incredibly relevant to our 21st century world. I contend that all environmental issues, water quality, habitat loss, energy, climate, natural hazards, invasive species, and many more take place somewhere, affecting people's lives as well as their environmental surroundings. In addition, these issues often exhibit spatial patterns that can be mapped and analyzed and require the analysis of data in the form of 2D and 3D maps, aircraft and satellite imagery, real-time data feeds from the Internet of Things, and much more. This course provides theoretical foundations and practical applications for social and ecological problem solving through a series of readings, videos, and hands-on exercises covering a wide variety of environmental issues, themes, and scales. You will learn the fundamentals of modern mapping, including projections, symbology, classification, and analysis. You will build your own web mapping applications including story maps. You will gain skills and confidence to empower you to be able to conduct your own field studies and use maps as analytical tools to build a brighter, more sustainable, more resilient tomorrow. What we will study. Maps have a long history from clay tablets to web maps. People have been using maps both to describe and change their societies. Maps are tools for social and scientific inquiries as well as for communication. Mapping has always been at the interplay of society and technology. And finally, the geospatial industry is emerging as one of the three most important new industries, along with nanotechnology and biotechnology. So we are going to be working in geotechnologies. Why are we studying this? Well, first of all, to empower you to be change agents in your community, in your region, in your country, in your world. That is the primary goal. Mapping is a means to a greater goal. The greater goal is to build a more resilient tomorrow and empowering you with these tools helps you to be a change agent in society. Now, after completing this course, you will be able to read, use, and create maps informed by a contextual understanding of how maps reflect the interplay and the relationship between society and technology. You'll be able to read, use, and create maps to support social and scientific inquiries, understanding the world and its issues, such as land use. And you'll be able to use a variety of technologies to make your own maps. And you will appreciate the underlying engineering and geospatial technologies at play in the production of geospatial data. Why are we doing this? Again, because we, I, my goal is to empower you to be a change agent in your community and in your world. Now, how are we going to study this? The maps and data are online and the course is online. It's, it's the perfect world. It's the perfect union. This course is completely online and asynchronous. However, even though I say asynchronous, to foster community and networking, you are strongly encouraged to work through the course in step with your classmates. In other words, as a cohort. So sometime during week one, you do the work for week one. Sometime during week two, you do the content, you do the work for week two, and so on. Choose your coursework time that best fits your, fits your own schedule. We will hold occasional live virtual sessions as needed. You are also asked to attend virtual Vespers services during the course. This is a compressed four credit course. Therefore, plan to spend at least 10 hours during each week working through the content of this course. This course is five weeks long. There will be one of each of the following items each week. Video, readings, activities, and quizzes. Plus, the last week, I will ask for an implementation plan from you. In other words, how are you going to implement what you've learned in the course? 
Why listen to me? Well, I have served in four sectors of society. I'm a geographer, a GIS professional, and an educator. I've served in government agencies, NOAA, USGS, the Census Bureau. I work in private industry for ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute, as their education manager. I also teach in academia, so I teach at Osable, but also in other universities and institutes. And I've also served in nonprofit organizations. I was president of the National Council for Geographic Education, for example. I'm still learning, though, just like you. But I do have a background in this, and I'm very passionate about this, as I hope you can sense from this video. Also, I believe in the Osable creed of protecting and conserving this God-created world in which we live. I'm here to help you be successful, folks. My research is focused on teaching and learning with GIS and how and why is it, it is effective and how it can be improved. So I'm very focused on the educational aspect of all this. Five key things to take away from this course. Learn that maps are not just static documents. They are analysis tools. They're not just reference documents of where is Michigan, where is Afghanistan, where is New York City. Why are things located where they are and what is the relationship between variable A and variable B, for example? Second, maps are incredibly relevant to 21st century issues, the ones I mentioned earlier and many more. Third, the whys of where. We'll dig into that, the whys of where. Number four, what's where, why is it there, and why should we care? What's where, why is it there, and why should we care? And number five, be critical of the data. Maps are very powerful, but you need to understand what goes into the map and the analysis and not just accept maps because they're on the web and because they're digital and maybe because they look nice. Be critical of the data, just like I hope you're critical of all the data that you're taking in. Okay, understand where it came from, who created it, how often is it updated, and so on. I really want you to do mapping and analysis. I don't want to just talk about it. So primarily, the course is all about hands-on activities where you're actually going to be making data and creating story maps and dashboards and infographics and analysis. So you're going to actually do this. You're going to be acting as a geographic information systems professional. I look at my maps and I see they need tending while my device gently beeps. I look at the world and I see it needs mending while my device gently beeps. Ah, I digress. Let's get started. We'll see you in the course.